Hi everybody, this is Shane Armand Rowe, and today we're going to have a short directory opus tutorial. You've been asking for more of these, and I'm excited to provide. This time we're going to do something completely different. We're going to use directory opus's system-wide hotkeys to control what audio output device that we're using. And it's like, well, that seems pretty esoteric, Shane. I mean, who would do that? Well, it's pretty simple. If you have more than one audio output, you have speakers, uh, as well as a wireless headset or Bluetooth headset, and you want to quickly change between them, it's actually kind of difficult, right? I mean, it's not it's not hard, but it's just sort of an effort to go in here and change which um, which device it is that you're using. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just use a quick hotkey on your keyboard to flip between which of these that you're using at that point in time? A lot of times I'll have my speakers on for work and then after work I want to play some games and I launch the game and uh, it turns out that I want my headset to be on and play the game through my headset. Well, then you've got to either close the game or hope that if you swap windows, it's not going to crash to the game. Where it'd be really nice if you just had a system-wide hotkey that you could press, say, Control-1 or Control-2 or Control-F1 or Alt-F1 or whatever it is that you wanted to do um, to flip over to those other speakers without ever leaving the game. It's actually really useful once you start using it. And this, um, this tutorial can be used for numerous different methodologies of controlling things in a system-wide manner using hotkeys and directory opus is the tool we're gonna use to do that. We're also gonna use another tool to help us out with this is something called Near Command, N-I-R Command. This Nearsoft company makes tons and tons of great utilities, but this little interesting command line tool really offers us a lot of automation that can be done at the command line that coupled with the power of system-wide hotkeys for directory opus can give us almost unlimited control over our computer using simple hotkeys that are routed through directory opus. So take a look at this near command. Uh, we're gonna download and install this, but, but look at all the different things it can do. Open a CD-ROM drive, mute your volume, your system volume or toggle it. Turn off your monitor. Um, what other kind of crazy stuff? Put your computer to sleep. Hide all your Internet Explorer windows. Uh, there's just tons and tons and tons of things that this amazing little command line tool can do. But if we're going to make you use the command line, that's a huge pain in the butt. You might as well just go down here and flip the audio back and forth. But using Directory Opus is amazing system-wide hotkeys. We are going to be able to access, we'll be able to access uh, all of these different um, command line parameters using a system-wide hotkey. So let's get started. Now you know what it is we're going to do and why we're doing it. Let's just do it. So the first thing that you need to do, uh, of course, is to download uh, near command. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. This is really super easy. There's a 64-bit version as well. I didn't realize that as I clicked that. So let's go ahead and do that. So of course, this opens in Directory Opus. We're assuming you already have Directory Opus installed. We are going to go to C Windows in our bottom folder. Anything that's in the um, Windows folder is automatically accessible across the command line all across your system. So this is sort of a path that you can put stuff that you always want to be able to access from anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and copy those files. You'll, if you have UAC turned on, you'll get a warning. And now Near Command is going to be available from anywhere, which is what we want. So that's it. That's all it took to copy that to our to our uh, machine. And if you want to try it out, you can go to the command line and type near command, and you will see that it is indeed working. Of course, we haven't told it to do anything, but we know that it's there and it's available from the command line. Perfect. Next thing we have to do, we can get rid of this. We're done with Nearsoft now. You'll notice if you uh, look of my two different uh, playback devices, I have two sets of speakers. One is the, the built-in PC uh, audio output, and I also have a USB speaker set. This could just as easily be a headset, a VR headset, like the, uh, the Index, for example. So what we really need to do, though, is we need to give those unique names that we can use near a uh, command to reference. So there's, a, there's three or four different ways you can do this. I'm going to show you the fast way. Right-click on your audio icon down there, hit Sounds. Within Sounds, you're going to go to the Playback tab, and you'll see both devices, including which one's set as the default. So we need to rename these to something that makes sense. So I'm going to double-click it. I'm going to change the name from Speakers to USB. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Just remember what you wrote, uh, what you're calling them. So we're going to change it to USB 
and internal. And again, whatever makes sense to you, it doesn't really matter. You'll also notice that after we change them, they show up that way from our audio uh, widget down there as well. So you might want to make sure that it's human readable. Don't just call them one and two, right? Make it something that you know what they are. All right, so we've renamed them. Now all we have to do is attach a near command to a uh, system-wide hotkey. So let's do that. We're going to go to Customize Toolbars under Settings, or you could right-click somewhere and hit Customize. Either way, it gets you in there. We're going to go to Keys, and we're going to click this new system-wide hotkey. So the Lister hotkeys only work if you have Directory Opus open and in front of you and have focus. What we want to do, though, is change the audio output device anywhere from any application. We don't necessarily want to ha have a Lister open to do this. We want to be able to do this from anywhere. So we're going to make this a system-wide hotkey. You can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this, say, I'm going to name this set to USB audio. It is a system-wide hotkey. And um, we're going to go ahead and make the, uh, we're going to set the hotkey. I'm going to make mine control F1, control F1 for my hotkey. And the function that we're going to call it is, let me get that in front of me here. The function that we're going to call, is, of course, is near command, CMD. We're going to pass it the parameter set default sound device. And we need to pass it the proper name that we called it. In my case, it was USB, right? I'm going to copy this to my clipboard because I'm going to use it again. I'm going to add another one, new system-wide hotkey. And we're going to call it set to internal. The function is going to be the same, except for instead of opening or calling it with USB as a parameter, we're going to call it internal. And uh, you can have it run in a normal window. You could have it uh, open in a hidden window. There's a bunch of different ways you can do it. But um, we're going to go ahead and, and just use this as our default. Oh, and I didn't specify my hotkey. Thank you. So we'll make that Control F2 to toggle. All right. So we're going to hit OK. We're going to close Directory Opus. Let's see what our current, uh, our current setting is USB. So if I want to change that, I should be able to hit Control F2 now. You saw a blip. Did it work? Look at that, it's changed to internal. Control F1, boom, you're on USB. How awesome is that? And that'll work anywhere. You could be inside a Call of Duty and flip back and forth between your speaker and your headset with just a simple command, uh, command, um, command line tool being called through a directory open system-wide hotkey. I, I did promise you a bonus. We're gonna go ahead and go back in. And uh, according, to, according to the Nearsoft webpage, right? Let's go back in there. They said that there's a command, right, to switch the system volume between mute and normal state. And this is the command. I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. All right. And I'm going to go back into customize, go back to keys. I'm going to add a new system-wide hotkey, and I'm going to call this toggle mute. Right, the hotkey is going to be control print screen. Oh, okay, you can't do print screen. How about control home? Perfect. So control home. My function is going to be. Uh, did I lose my. I lost my clipboard. This always happens. All right, so let me copy this again. The function is going to be this near soft command mute system two. All right. So let's see how we did. I'm gonna go ahead and close everything out. Control home. So look at that. So you, you, it's probably hard to see, but if you look down here, look at my look at my audio uh, widget. Mute, unmute, mute, unmute. How great is that? So you could easily just go, um, you know, unmute, unmute F2. Boom, you're ready to go with your uh, with your headset or your internal device in this case. That's it. That's all it takes. Um, so listen, that near command, it's got tons and tons of things you could do with it. I'm sure after watching this video, even if you weren't looking to actually toggle your audio, you're going, oh man, how great would it be if I could eject that CD or I could automatically close with a single button press all of my uh, Brave browser or Chrome browser that are open, right? Because a lot of times you'll have uh, Chrome uh, windows open and you kind of forget about them. They get lost in the ether. Well, you close them all with one single command. 
tons of things you could do. I hope you like this. It's a little bit esoteric. It's sort of a directory opus tutorial, but we're using a feature of directory opus to accomplish this task. And I hope you enjoyed it. Please like the video, share, subscribe. Everything really helps us out. And um, tune in next time. We'll have, uh, we'll have more directory opus videos coming for you in the future. Thanks for watching.